Yeah, that's the question that we are going to answer today, which is more easier for express entry. Okay, let's go to the listening test. That is Comprehension Ohal. And let's start with TEF Canada. 40 minutes in duration. There are 60 multiple choice questions. No negative marking. Only one correct answer for all the questions. Uh, you get 15 seconds. Now, it's not constant. For some easier questions, you get less time. 10 to 15 seconds to read the question and all four options before the audio is played. And after the audio is played, you get another 15 seconds to mark your answer on the screen. So for question number one to question number 20 in TEF Canada, this the volume of the Francais, audio recording will be played twice, okay, from question one to question 20. So how does it look like? So for example, they will play an audio for first eight questions and they will show you some images like this. And you have to you have to choose from the option in the audio. What was the first thing that was mentioned? Was this mentioned first? Was this mentioned first? Was this mentioned first? Like Montagne, this is some touristic sea touristic. This is plage. This is maison. This is uh, bateau. Right. So you have to look for those keywords, and you have to select which one was mentioned first in the audio. Again, it is played. First four questions are on the same audio, and it will be played twice, the fois. Vous allez entendre, the fois, okay? Same thing happens for question number five to eight. So first eight questions are a similar type. Again, they will show you some images and they will play an audio and they will say, what does Jose do? Out of this activities, what did Jose do? Jose did uh, snorkeling, surfing, selling fish <laughs> or photography, or I don't know what he's doing here, maybe sunbath. So that's what Jose did. You'll have to answer this. These are again five to eight. Audio is played twice. Good advantage of TEF is that when they play audio twice, what happens is you get like 10 to 15 seconds to read the question and answer options. In this case, it doesn't matter from one to eight because the options are usually A, B, C, D. So it doesn't make much of a difference. But generally, you get some time to read the options. Uh, then they play the audio once. Then they give you another 10 seconds of break to you know make up your mind, maybe mark some answers if you have already figured out, then play it again. And then they give you another 10, 15 seconds to mark your answers after the second one. So you get some pauses in between, between the two audios and then, you know, so that's easier to concentrate. You're not fully tuned all the time. You, you get a time to breathe a little. So for first 20, you get audio, which is played twice. Let's look at the questions which what do they look like from question number 9 to 20 so they usually play your uh, telephone recording messages recorded telephone text like the one we telephone responder and you have to classify them which is pretty easy like whether it's a familial amical is it by a friend by a family member by a professional colleague or by a is a sort of publicity by some organization so it's pretty easy to figure out six messages okay so six times audio will be played one after another. You have to classify them. So those will be six questions. And then same six audio messages will be played again. And this time you have to tell them what was the content of the message? Like what was it about? Okay. So this time you don't have to just classify. You have to actually tell what was it about? Good news is, as I said, the same audio is played twice. First for classification and second time for answering what was the purpose of the message. Now, what you can do, because classification is fairly easy, when you're listening the audio for the first time, you can even pay some attention and figure out what were they talking about when you're listening for the first time. So eventually, when they played second time and you have the options available in front of you, you already had an idea about what they spoke about, so you can make a fairly good decision. And that's the advantage of audio being played two times. So that's what happens from question one to question 20. Question 21 to 28, one audio for two questions each, but audio is only played once. So now audio is played once. So there's only one audio for two questions each. So there are four audios for eight questions. And remember, audio is played once, but it's not that difficult. At least first two are not difficult. So they will play an audio of eight seconds duration, as you can see. And then you have to say, where was this played? in a theater, in a, during a match, during a concert, during a museum visit or something. And there will be another question on the same audio, 
And there, remember, audio is played only once, and you will have both questions on your screen simultaneously. So you'll have to answer two questions after one audio and only played once. But good news, it's not very difficult. So this happens. I mean, at least first couple of them are pretty easy. And this happens four times. And you reach till question number 28. Then from question number 29 to 34, you have six questions. Again, audio is played only once. And you have to categorize these radio messages, radio broadcast messages. So these are the clips from radio broadcasting. And these are six audios played only once. And you have to categorize them. How do you categorize? For example, I'll show you. Whether it was about culture, sports, loisir, like hobbies, or about voyage, travel. So you have to just classify you know, them into the category. It is played only once, but not that difficult. At least half of them are pretty easy, and then half of them are a bit tricky. So that's it. That's simple. Let's go on. So that was still question number 34. From 35 to 40, there's a question. Same question is asked to six different people. Okay, same question. Like, for example, do you support Russia's war in Ukraine or something like that? Options will be same for all these six questions. The options are same. Okay, audio is played only once. Now, what is the audio about? Audio is about six people responding to the same question. Do you support war in Ukraine? So six people will be speaking about their opinion on that topic. So, but remember, audio is played only once. But good news in this six question is that options will be same. For example, options could be, I support Russia. I support Ukraine. I do not support any of them. I don't care. Something like that. Okay. Those are four options. Those will be common options for all six questions. Okay. So once you read the options correctly in first uh, for the first audio, you don't need to really keep on reading the options all the time because they're going to be same for six people. All you have to figure out based on the thing that you heard from each person, he fits, he or she fits into which category. What is he saying? Support Ukraine, Russia, do not, something like that. So that's 35 to 40. Again, only once it is played. So you have to maintain some concentration. Now we are coming to question number 41 to 50. These are slightly longer audio messages. Imagine them as long paragraphs in your reading test. So there are three audio messages. First is of 1.5 minute in and about. Second is about two minutes or something. And third is close to three minutes, few seconds. Okay. So these are the three long audio messages. And first uh, audio will have three questions. Second will have three questions. And third will have four questions. Fairly difficult. At least this one is fairly difficult. Uh, I'll show you how it looks like. So one minute, 35 second, the second one. And if you see this one, three minute, 54 second. That's a long audio to focus on. Okay. Good news. Good news. These three audios are played twice. Okay. Still, they are difficult to focus on because they're slightly longer. First, you know, the second one, third one is 354. Second one is 135. And the first one was uh, 225. So they're of variety length and uh, played twice. But one issue here is that the options sometimes are longer. So it takes a long time to read them and sometimes not sufficient. So it's a pretty tricky part. This is the trickiest part of this exam, 41 to 50 especially the last uh, seven questions are much trickier. And then from 51 to 60, it gets slightly straightforward. 51 to 60, what happens? They give you a sentence on the screen and they give you barely five seconds to read it. Five seconds, okay? And then they play the audio once, only once. And you have to select if the audio that was played, was it the same as the sentence that was written? Was it exactly the same or not? If it's exactly the same, you say yes or no. So here your pronunciation, phonetics, all that comes into picture, liaison and everything. And I'm not going to go into details, but we put a lot of focus at BBARTERS on getting the pronunciation and phonetics right in the early stages of our programs. So that comes into picture here, more or less. And these are 10 questions like that. First few, fairly simple. As you reach the question number 60, some of them are fairly tricky okay so as you can see he this student has got two three wrong out of ten i would give like you should get at least eight out of ten in this fairly simple so that's the listening test for tef canada let's talk about pros for 30 out of 60 questions it's exactly half of the 
test audio is played twice that's a very good thing first 20 and last tense are fairly easy ample time is given to read questions and options except for long audio questions because in long audio questions the options are pretty long so it's not enough to read all of them carefully but barring those uh, six seven questions most of the time you have sufficient time to read the question read the options and then listen to the audio Another thing is that the questions are structured very, very well. Each of these categories of questions have a very fairly consistent structure. So you know, if you have practiced before, which you will obviously do, you exactly know what to expect. So it's a very structured exam in that regard. 60 questions to answer, 40 minutes of concentration level, but it's not exactly 40 minutes because much of this 40 minutes is about, uh, you know, time to read the options, time to mark the answer. So audio is not played for 40 minutes. So that is listening for... TEF. Now let's go to TCF Canada. 35 minutes in duration. This was 40 minutes. So that's 35 minutes. 39 MCQs. So that's a typo. And no negative marking, just like your TEF. Audio is <laughs> audio is played only once for all 39 questions. Questions are always asked as part of the audio. You will not see the question written on the screen. You'll only see the options. So the question will be asked as part of the audio that you are going to hear. Time is provided, 10 to 15 seconds to read the options and then also to mark the answer, to mark the answer after the audio is played. So that's a similar to TF. Uh, let's look at how it looks like. First four questions are like this. You see an image, they play an audio. Even the options are actually in the audio. So based on this image, the guy is saying, I will speak for you what the audio is saying so that you get an idea. So let me go back. Okay. Il fait fou ici. It's cold here. Then the they are reading our options. A, A option, he said, A, femme la porte, B, femme la fenêtre, femme le rideau, C. So he's basically reading out four options like femme la fenêtre, femme la porte, femme le rideau, so basically close the window, close the door, close the curtains. So point is that they will play out some situation and four options. And then you have to select which one is appropriate based on the image. So these are the first four questions. Similarly, for example, here, it definitely looks like a bakery. This looks like a baguette. So he just said, bonjour. And they're now saying options A. In baguette, s'il vous plaît. B, the kilo de tomate, s'il vous plaît. Trois cutlets, s'il vous plaît. That was second, third option, C. And D was a bouquet de rose, s'il vous plaît. A bouquet of rose, like pink, uh, rose. Okay. So obviously it was baguette, the first one, because it's a bakery. So this is how first four questions look like. There's a picture given, options given, and they will play out the, they read out the options in the audio. Okay. From question five onwards, there are no images. So first one to four, image sets the context. Options are played in the audio, comparatively easy. Question 6 to 10, simple situations, you know, simple situations like two people are talking in the lift or they just uh, reached a railway station, ticket counter or something like that. Four options are read out in the audio and you have to select the correct option. And question is also asked in the audio itself. Medium to easy. I would still say pretty easy to medium, not, not much difficult. So first 10, at this point, till this point, audio clips are fairly short, maximum up to 10 seconds. Uh, excluding the option I'm saying, even the the things are not very really difficult at this point of time, okay? But from question one to 10, neither the option nor the question was shown on the screen. Everything was in the audio. So you have to be super attentive. Now from question 11 till the question 39, audios get progressively longer in duration and progressively more difficult to understand. More faster in speed, they speak more faster, I observe. Maximum up to 75 seconds in length. Some of the clips are 1 minute 20 seconds maximum. So 1 minute 10 seconds. The rest of them are usually between. Progressively they start getting longer. 20 seconds, then 30 seconds. From question 11 to 39, four options will be written on the screen. So I'll show you super quick. So looks look at 12, question number 12. Options are there now on the screen, but there's no question. So you can read the options before the audio is played but you have to still listen to the audio to get the question. Nous avons réservé une chambre pour deux personnes. 
ऐसे तक इल नो सो इट्स इट्स अ कॉन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन अ कस्टमर एंड अ रिसेप्शनिस्ट एट अ होटल एंड दैट्स अ कॉन्वर्सेशन ऑफ 16 सेकंड्स एंड देन देयर आर फोर ऑप्शंस दे आर जस्ट समराइजिंग द सिचुएशन इल से प्रेजेंट अ रिसेप्शन इल वा डोन ला शॉम्बर डायरेक्टली इल एक्सिस दे ड्रॉप इट इक पोहेलिए इल डोन एन ओहर पुर लर हैव इट वाज बेसिकली a he just presented or he introduced himself at the reception so it's fairly simple at this point but by the time you reach 38 you can see that audio is of 1 minute 20 seconds fairly long question is in the audio itself audio will be played only once and you will have four options to read before the audio is played now cons the accent in the audio are sometimes from different regions like from african francophone countries like uh, cote d'ivoire or something like that so that's a, not all of them but some of them reading options without knowing the question is not much of use even if they give you time to read the options before playing the audio you don't know the question so it's not same as tef extreme concentration required for 35 minutes i mean including the time they give you for reading and marking the answer because audio is only played once question format and instructions are not as clear as tf canada because in tf canada as i said to you these are fixed type of questions first eight questions are picture based next 12 questions are telephone messages next word you know exactly what format they are going to come because you have practiced them the instructions are super clear for example question 35 to 40 options are same for all the questions you know ex- context is very clearly defined here that's not the case the context depends on each question and that you will not know unless you read the audio or oh, sorry listen to the audio so that's the difference pros initial questions are relatively simpler than tf first you know first 8 to 10 questions and they don't have any super long audio messages like you know we saw in tf there was one audio message of 3 minutes plus there's no something like that this maximum length of audio in tcf is 75 seconds or 80 seconds or something like that but then again in tf also you have only one audio of that length and another of 2 minutes plus so there's only two audios like that rest of them are shorter anyway now let's compare tf canada duration 40 minutes tcf 35 minutes uh, number of mcqs is 60 39 again don't go on the number because you know like you saw here in the tef last 10 are just about pronunciation okay those are super quick first eight are pictures so those are fairly simple so if you take into account the easiness of the question this really doesn't matter much if it's 60 or 39 because the format is different need no negative marking number of really long audio messages is two and here's there's nothing we are saying talking about 2 minutes plus audio is played twice for 30 questions nearly like 50% of the exam audio is played twice only for no zero questions no it's not played twice at all <laughs> question and options are both visible on written form on the screen yes only options appear on screen the question is part of the audio itself time given to read questions is similar for both cases all right so having explained this structure in our opinion our opinion and based on the discussions that we had with students tef canada listening is comparatively easier than tcf canada listening according to us now again this can be different for different people based on their preferences but in general we would say tef canada listening is easier than tcf canada listening let's see if you guys have any questions or opinions or anything in tef to secure clb7 for listening so listening there are 60 questions so our uh, theory is that and because they don't disclose the officially disclose the weightage of points for each question officially we say that 48 plus is a sure shot clb7 but even 45 plus is a good case out of 60 for you know clb7 but 48 plus is more or less secure your clb7 and please follow us on our social media channels in order to remain updated about our program offerings and make most of all the information that we like to share with you about french about canadian immigration programs and how to best prepare for tef and tcf canada exams merci beaucoup